गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून एंड गुड इवनिंग सो टूडे आई गॉट गैलेक्सी ए फिफ्टी वन आई वॉज हैविंग पोर्टेड रॉम वन यू आई सिक्स पॉइंट टू वन एंड विल ब्रिंक दूटोरियल वीडियो सोन बट फर्स्ट आई थॉट लेट मी मेक अ वीडियो ऑफ लाशिंग दि स्टॉक रॉम then i will make the another video of one ui 6.21 if you want like uh, your phone is not updating from ota and uh, your uh, phone is stuck with the oldest firmware and if you want to update your mobile phone in case if you are having any custom rom you want to flash the stock firmware back on your mobile phone this is what you can do if you follow the steps that i'm going to show in this video right <music> I have uh, provided all the links in my video description. You can just click the links and download. You need to and uh, download the Samsung Android USB driver. In case if you have uh, installed already, then I will suggest to check the version that you have. In case if your uh, Samsung Android driver is having oldest version, then I will suggest to download the latest one. Uh, provided uh, on the uh, website of the Samsung Jan 11 Jan 2024, and after downloading, install it on your Windows. Then this is the firmware website from where we can download the stock firmware of the Samsung mobile phone. After coming to this website, search for your model. You need to check the about phone. You can get the model number. What model number you have? then exact model number you need to type over here uh, my in in my case i have galaxy a51 and my mobile phone model is a515 i can see that uh, there are three more models of galaxy a51 u w u1 no i have this one ae 515f so i will go for this in case if you have u go for this in case if you have w go for this one in case if you have u1 then go for this one so i will go for, i will click on this one and then i scroll down come down here you need to check your uh, country according to the region you can see that asia region europe north america etc etc my country located in asia so i will go for my country and pakistan i will click on it then another uh, website will get up in and you can see that uh, the latest firmware and all the oldest firmware provided on this website go for the latest one and uh, click on this firmware then come down and click on any server to start downloading the latest stock firmware of the samsung galaxy a51 now i will go to my downloaded folder where i have downloaded all the files already here it is odin 3.14.1 link provided download this one also and then must extract it right and this is the firmware that i have downloaded already on my downloaded folder after downloading must extract the firmware in same folder right i have already extracted both file odin and firmware here it is the, here are the extracted folder now first of all i will open the extracted folder of the firmware and uh, definitely i will see uh, the files over here now i will do one more thing to make the thing easy and to do the thing little bit quicker to click on each file then press the f2 erase the dot md5 if you do not want to do this just leave it go directly and sele select the firmware files in the odin but if you did this then you will save some times over here erase the dot md5 then press enter key and uh, again press enter key then the file which was having dot md5 is converted to zip file but still it is in tar format right so uh, i will do same thing to the second file i will press f2 and i will delete the dot md5 then press enter key again press enter key we'll go to next file selecting the next file press f2 then i will erase dot md5 press enter key press enter key and i will do the things again with the last file 
that not the last one the fourth one i will erase md5 and dot also just make sure that uh, the file is supposed to be dot tar nothing else right and press enter key again press enter key okay things are done we'll go back then i will open the extracted folder of the odin then double click the odin file to and uh, on this window click ok the odin will open on the odin screen first i will click the bl slot then i will go to my downloaded folder and i will open the extracted folder of the firmware and i will double click the file starting from the bl here here it is double click the file got selected and again i will click ap i will go again back to my downloaded folder i will double click the file starting from the ap then click cp select the file starting from the cp double clicking on it and then click csc select the file starting from the csc double clicking on it okay odin is ready we'll come back to my mobile phone screen now the few important things that we have to do before flashing first of all save all the internal storage data otherwise the data will get formatted if you are trying to flash any custom rom or if you want to go back to stock rom all the data data will get erased right save all the data check the mobile phone battery must be char charged like 40 to 50 or 60 percent right then go back and go to settings then scroll down come down to the lock screen then select the screen lock type we have to turn or turn it off by selecting the swipe we need to turn off the lock screen that we have set before select swipe to turn it off then go back and go to accounts and backup and to manage account remove samsung account in case if you are using it okay the samsung account requires a password i will do that quickly done i have removed the samsung account and then i will remove the google account also i am doing this to avoid any issue later on well i have removed all the accounts like samsung account and google account and uh, things are done now simply power of the mobile phone and uh, data cable is required use a good quality of data cable do not use the, uh, the oldest uh, data cable because sometime it uh, have issues transferring the data now we have to boot the mobile phone into odin mode mobile phone must be power off press and hold the volume up key volume down key and uh, check the other side of this cable must be connected with computer press and hold the volume up key volume down key connect the cable with the mobile phone you will see a warning screen then to release both keys when you see a warning screen then to press the volume up key once to boot the mobile phone into Odin mode all right so the set is booted into Odin mode connected already with the computer okay coming back towards my computer screen Odin detected the mobile phone already right just simply come down here and click start to start the firmware flashing uh, on the mobile phone now it the flashing will take a little time so we have to wait flashing done you will see that uh, pass message is on the audience screen then click reset click exit and uh, computer work done a51 is uh, having stock firmware back and uh, the bootloader is unlocked so we have to relock the bootloader and for relocking the bootloader i will just wait i will let the mobile phone to start booting then i will do one more thing because i do not want to relock the bootloader when the mobile phone completes the first boot so finally mobile phone started booting now press and hold the volume up key volume down key and power key the mobile the cable must be connected just press hold all the three keys and now release the power key then release the volume up and volume down key when you see a warning screen on this screen press and hold the volume up key for little long 
then the other screen will appears here we go lock bootloader and uh, on this screen just press the volume up key once to relock the bootloader and things done now you can disconnect the cable and you can see that there is no more warning screen appearing it was before that because the bootloader was not lock now the mobile phone will start booting to the stock firmware and the first boot will take a time now we have to wait finally first boot completed now complete the setup screen so the mobile phone got back to the stock firmware finally and uh, very smoothly the stock firmware is back galaxy a51 a515f is the model number both ime numbers present over here then i will tap the software information phone basically it was having a custom rom first now the mobile phone is back to stock firmware and the last one ui version a release for the Galaxy A51 is One UI 5.1 and Y13. And I hope that you got helped by this video. Do not forget to like the video. We'll see you in my next video. Until then, goodbye.